this is a wolverine but what is a wolverine really welcome to this beautiful planet my name is alan and in this video i'm talking about the wolverine The wolverine is a mustelid, uh, which means it's related to other mustelids, of course. Uh, and then we're talking about badgers, otters, ferrets, minks, animal like that. I'm sure you know which animals I'm talking about. The wolverine is the largest of the mustelids, and they can have a body length between 65 to 105 centimeters long. A tail length, which is around 13 to 26 centimeters, and their shoulder height is between 36 and 45 centimeters. So uh, you can say they're they're quite a stocky little animal. When it comes to body weight, they're between 9 and 30 kilos, so that's a significant span. Uh, the males tend to be a lot larger than the females so of course the uh, largest wolverines would be males and the smallest would be females in general. When a wolverine is born it's called a kit and they will weigh around 85 grams already. So wolverines are found in the northern hemisphere so you can find them in North America, in Canada and a little bit in the United States and you can also find them in Europe, in Scandinavia, and also some in, uh, in Asia. Countries like Russia have some, uh, have some wolverine populations. So a male wolverine will have large home ranges, and sometimes these home ranges will overlap with female home ranges. So that's uh, kind of how they meet these females. The males will fiercely defend their home range and despite their pretty small stature they are known to have chased away bears, mountain lions, wolves, all kinds of larger animals and this is due to the wolverine's fierceness. Although they're not upright aggressive, they're not to be messed with. A wolverine generally will live five to seven years in the wild. The highest I could find was 13 years. Although in captivity, you can expect them to live up to 18 years. The wolverine diet is quite varied and they will eat anything from small eggs to large ungulates. So I know how crazy it sounds, but a wolverine can actually take down large prey like moose, deer, roe deer, reindeer, all of these very large animals. And uh, this is due to the shape of the wolverine's feet. I told you they live in the northern hemisphere and uh, these large feet help the wolverine run on top of the snow. And they actually kind of function like snowshoes. If you've seen a large ungulate, you know they definitely don't have feet shaped like uh, snowshoes. So they will sink through the snow while the wolverine is able to run on top of the snow and can then catch up with the prey. And basically they will jump onto their backs, bite down on their necks, and they can even crush their necks with their bites because wolverines, as you may know, have very strong bites, which is quite common for mustelids. As I said, this kind of hunting will generally only happen during the winter when there's snow. And wolverines are considered to be quite opportunistic and it will vary what they eat depending on what's available. They are specialized scavengers and they will readily take a carcass uh, if another predator killed it, they will even chase down, chase, chase away another predator as brought down a, a prey. 
And sometimes uh, Wolverine will even store their food. They actually quite often store their food, uh, which is probably why the myth of the Wolverine being the biggest glutton in the animal kingdom came to. The Wolverine have very few natural predators. And as I talked about, they are quite fierce and aggressive against anyone who's trying to mess with them. And they're quite able to defend themselves if they have to. However, wolves, mountain lions, black bears, brown bears, even golden eagles might be a threat to a young animal or a wolverine that's inexperienced. The dominant predator of wolverines, if you look apart from humans, are wolves. Although the wolves are only capable of catching wolverines generally if there's no trees around because uh, wolverines are capable climbers and will readily run up a tree if they feel threatened. When it comes to vocalization, wolverines are not very vocal. Although they will occasionally have some grunts and growls, usually during mating or if they're irritated. <coughs> Interestingly enough, the wolverine, even as an adult, will play with objects and other things. This has been observed in the wild as well as captivity. And uh, in my opinion, when an animal is very playful, even as an adult, it's very often a sign of intelligence and wolverines are considered quite intelligent, like with other mustelids. Intelligent animals in general, I would say. Currently, the IUCN red list lists the wolverine as the least concern, although they do have a decreasing population trend. Of course, this also varies in which part of the, the world they're living. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about the Wolverine, as per usual, I left my sources in the description. Feel free to let me know what you think of the channel and the video, and I hope you have a good day. See ya!